Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Youssef. Uh, I'll be uh, showing you how to uh, implant and explant the uh, the Malugan ring uh, for pupil expansion. Uh, at this stage, I'm in injecting viscoat or vitrax into the anterior chamber, and I try to lift the edge of the pupil a little bit so that I can be, be safely implanting the, the ring. The uh, it, the trick here is uh, it's not to over inflate the chamber because otherwise you're going to be pushing the iris against the lens and you'll have a hard time to pass the 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 posterior edge of the ring in uh, behind the pupil so uh do not uh, over inflate the chamber and try to put some some of the viscoelastic underneath the edge of the pupil especially the nasal part i work temporally so the nasal part is the one that's uh that's going to be first engaging um, currently, um, I slowed down the video so that uh, I can uh, have time to talk and explain what I'm doing. So uh, this is the injector. I'll, uh, this is the the nasal part of the ring. So the nasal part will uh, engage the nasal part of the pupil, and that will push. And as I'm doing that, I'm dragging the, uh, the, the injector. At this stage, I rotate uh, posteriorly upwards a little bit to engage the upper one and then the same one for the lower one so I rotate the injector a little bit to, in, to engage them at once so I usually do this the uh, superior one first or the one on the, my right and then the, the inferior one on, on the left and then uh, as I'm going down uh, outwards I rotate actually 90 degrees to one side so that it diseng the, the hook dis disengage the temporal ring and then I re uh, position the the temporal ring uh, using a mushroom or button or now I use more of the McPherson uh, as it's more controlled I just hold the the, uh, the anterior part of the the ring and uh, I just engage the uh, temporal part of the pupil this way it's controlled well and we did not over inflate the chamber at the beginning with the viscoelastic so it's time to inflate it well so that you push the iris back uh, and uh, into the lens and uh, tr try to avoid the floppiness during the procedure. I actually now do more, uh, put more of the viscoelastic on top of the iris, not just at the center of the pupil, to stabilize it and avoid uh, it uh, from jumping around. Uh, I skipped the phaco part, and I, this is the lens implantation. And at this stage, I'll show you how I disengage and remove the the ring. Okay, so this is the ZCB00 uh, Technus lens from Amol. Okay, so I'll I'll remove the the superior ring first rather than the temporal one. I'm not using the uh, the proper uh, tool here. It's uh, it's uh, Sinsky, so I'll replace it with something that I can actually uh, use to very well to remove the ring. So this is the uh, the mushroom and uh, I disengage the superior ring and instead of trying to struggle with the the one the sub incisional one I'll just move from the bar I, I'll just push the bar uh, centrally to disengage the one sub incisional and as you see the ring is rotating actually out of place and now the inferior one is now closest to the wound so I'll disengage that and position it in a good position to to be against the wound and I'll use the inje uh, the injector to explant it easily. Here the trick is to, to you have to engage both parts of the ring, the anterior and the posterior part, otherwise it's going to hook the wound in the way out. And you can see here it's hooked and everything is coming out nice and easy and you don't have to go, uh, 